Hey love bugs and welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I have really sat down and filmed. It's so nice to be able to talk and not be in pain. <laughs> Today I am back with another one of my product rollout type videos, right? So, you know, when I did my little rant, I was saying how, you know, sometimes, you know, y'all kind of asked me to create the same stuff. And some of y'all were like, you know, Brie, if you think about it, it really ain't that bad. And I was like, you know what, you're right. Because one, I like what I like. Y'all know I like what I like. And you guys like what you like. But also, you never know what new person is going to come across that video, you know? So I was like, you know what? Instead of thinking of it as a negative, I'm going to think of it as a positive. So we're going to do some more of these types of videos. So today, I have my favorite... I would say underrated gels for the winter time. So a lot of you guys um, talk to me about gels that, you know, maybe aren't as moisturizing that kind of suck out the water from your hair. All these gels are super duper moisturizing. A lot of them are more oil rich. So they're more of that kind of custard type of product, right? Um, I figured that this would be a great list to have for you guys to come back to and reference. So if you are interested in seeing some of my top gel picks for moisturized, supple, shiny, soft strands all throughout the winter season, you can just keep on watching. Um, I try not to mention things that are a limited edition, but I know that this tends to come back. So I would be remiss not to put it in this video. That is the Honey's Handmade Coconut and Apple Curl Glaze, y'all. I love this so much. I actually think I'm going to wash my hair with this this week. Well, not wash my hair with it, but use this for a wash and go this week. Mm, check that texture. Listen, the texture is beautiful. When you apply this to your hair, like it adds an instant glistening shine. This really just locks in everything, but it has a lot of moisture on its own. This has aloe gel, aloe juice, coconut butter, jojoba, apple seed, um, and some glycerin at the bottom. This smells like an apple pie, so you're going to smell amazing. I actually did a fall routine last year, a full fall wash and go routine, and I use this as the main styler. So I will link that video down in the description box below. But this is bomb, leaves the hair super shiny, soft, decadent. It's not a super crunchy gel, like it's going to hold your hair in place, but it's not super crunchy, which I know is like that main thing that people try to avoid in the winter time. So this is really nice, just softening, but it still provides hold. And so I had to put her in. This is one that a lot of people don't talk about. And I personally don't talk about it too much because I can only use it when it gets really cold outside. Like if it ain't cold outside, this can't come out. And that is the KC by Cara Care Curl Essence Moisturizing Curling Deli with Jamaican Black Castor Oil and Coconut Oil. So this... It's very emollient rich. The first few ingredients are water, glycerin, castor seed, coconut oil, um, and flaxseed extract. This does have xanthan gum in there, but I feel like the amount of oil in this, like this is just so emollient that it you, you really can't tell. I've actually used quite a bit of it. I was surprised. I was like, I don't, I didn't think I had used this much of it, but I have. And I only pull it out um, in the winter time because this is one of those that if you pull this out in the summer, especially if you have hair like mine that really like really, really is affected by humidity, then that is a no go for summer because your hair will feel wet. But it is perfect when it is really, really cold outside. My hair eats this up when it's cold outside. So definitely check this out. This is super inexpensive. I want to say like $6.99 or $7.99. And a lot of times these are on sale, so you can get them for less than five bucks. Um, this is bomb, it's inexpensive. This is so moisturizing that you can use this on its own without a leave-in and have no moisture issues whatsoever. So the KC by Care Care Moisturizing Curling Jelly, a beautiful jelly to pull out during the fall and winter. I would say that the texture really resembles the As I Am Curling Jelly. I mean, they're from the same parent companies. Um, Wait, is Avalon, Care Care is under Avalon, right? And I'm pretty sure As I Am is under Avalon. 
I'm pretty sure, pretty sure. I'm sorry if I'm misspeaking, but I'm pretty sure they're under the same parent, but they're not the same product. The consistencies are very, very similar. They kind of look like each other, they vibe, but the formulations are totally different. Um, the, the As I Am one is better suited for like all year. It doesn't matter what season I can use it. This one is way more emollient rich and it is way more, um, what is it called? Humectant rich as well. So I, I can't use that one the way I use. Um, let's talk about what's in my hair. This is the Curl Origin Honey and Hibiscus. I pulled out the wrong product, hold on. Okay, sorry, I had grabbed the deep conditioner, not the um, <laughs> the styler. Um, so again, this is the Curl Origin Honey and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Gelée for curl definition with hibiscus extract and jojoba oil. I don't know who the hell calling this house. I don't even know why we have a landline. Why do we have a landline? We don't answer it. <laughs> anyway, I have this in my hair right now and this is actually a few days old, but it's been in my bonnet because I've been sick and I haven't been wearing my hair out, um, but I need to wear my hair out a little bit more just because since I've been sick, my hair has been in the bonnet way too much, way more than it should be. So my ends have really like drawn in on themselves, but overall, like this gives such a stunning, shiny wash and go, but it's just a little, it's not as free as it could be because it's been in my bonnet for an unnecessary amount of days. But I love this because this is also very emollient rich. It's definitely like a custardy cream gel kind of situation. It's very smooth in the hair. I do have reviews on majority of these products. So I'll link them in the description box for you guys. So this right here, um, the only thing that I will caution you guys with is that this one does have a xanthan gum base, which I didn't know in the review that I did of this when it launched. And this one, you don't want to apply too much. I definitely over applied this this time around. And you guys can't, like, you can't see anything in my hair. But when I scrunch it out, it does, it has a little flake of lake, just a little. Um, so just remember that this is xanthan gum based. Um, you don't need a lot of this product. So don't be heavy handed with it. I think I was just trying so hard to finish up my wash and go that I just did the most. You know, when you don't feel good. You don't usually do your best with product application, but my hair needed to be washed. Um, this is super moisturizing. Um, this has pectin and glycerin, but there's also honey. Um, there's hibiscus, sweet almond. There's beet sugar, which you guys know I love. Avocado oil, jojoba oil, and sunflower seed oil. So this has a really beautiful blend of ingredients. It applies to the hair like butter. It makes your curls just feel... It leaves a hold. There's a distinguishable cast, but your curls still feel soft. Very, very hydrated, very, very plump. You could actually get away with not using a leave-in, but I use the leave-in that is in this collection with this. That's how I prefer to use it, but it's so moisturizing and I love using this when it gets cold outside. This one can, I feel like it does fine in the heat as well, but I love the way that this collection holds moisture in my hair. So I had to put her in Of here. course, we won't talk about her too long. Camille Rose Curl Maker. I got quite a few questions about why Camille Rose was not in my top 10 products of all time. And I pretty much said like Camille Rose as a brand, <laughs> aside from the deep conditioners, are winter like fall and winter products for me because they are so moisturizing and my hair cannot typically handle Camille Rose in the summertime. It was different when I had a TWA, you know, because my hair wasn't in my face and I, you know, I wasn't as like cognizant of it. But now that my hair is very much grown out and very long, um, I do have to be more mindful of those things. Now I know this probably looks ridiculous. This is the top that came. <laughs> Um, this is the pump that came with this, but um, somehow this part got severed from this. So when I used up my last curl maker, I wasn't able to get this out. I tried to get it out, I couldn't get it out. So I just took the top from my last <laughs> bottle of curl maker and put it on this. <laughs> so it's just sitting there. It looks like, like some type of weird organ or something. But y'all already know curl maker has marshmallow and agave leaf. This is incredibly moisturizing and incredibly curl defining. Um, this has a lot more 
emollients to it. So there's pectin, coconut oil right there at the top of, top of the list along with aloe vera and castor seed oil. So I love this. It um, leaves my hair super duper moisturized, but I do have to be cognizant of when I use it. And this is the time of year that this product really, really shines for me. Um, and this can last in my hair for days. So I absolutely love this. It's just, it's everything. Um, and this is also glycerin free. So there is that too. I know a lot of people care about that. I know a lot of people have issues with glycerin. Obviously by the products that I share a lot of the times, most of the products that I use and love have glycerin in them, you know? Um, so <laughs> it's really hard for me to, I have a video on glycerin free products. I'll put it down in the description. But um, this one is glycerin free and I love it. It's just very emollient, it's rich, it has beautiful slip. Everything about it is just bomb for my hair and everything about it is bomb for this time of year. Listen, holiday parties, anything special, Camille Rose Curl Maker coming out. She coming out. Let's talk about some She Scent It. Y'all know usual players, usual players, now that it is cooler outside, I'm giving Tahiti cocktail a break because y'all know that is summertime day. I used up a whole jar of Tahiti cocktail this summer. Very proud of myself. So now, pomegranate pear oil and gel hair pudding is coming out to play. And this is definitely a pudding. Like, it has that wobbly jelly texture. I only use this with its companion hair milk um, and that is how I suggest everyone use it because this does not play well with everything, okay? I always try to remind y'all of that. Um, this has aloe, there is some arnica, some chamomile, pomegranate, nettle, horsetail, pear, prickly pear, avocado, there's kupawasu and castor oil in here. So this has a lot of really, really great ingredients. This is one of those that goes onto the hair and it really like, it kind of drags the strands a little bit. Like it will really kind of give you that like laid hair effect. It gives you that kind of tame feel, you know? But when it dries and you scrunch it out, you get so much volume. You still have shine, but you have a lot of volume and a lot of softness. This makes my hair look beautiful every single time every single time. I absolutely love this. Um, I just, I always think about back to when I started trying this and like the first day I had this and the hair milk in my hair and people just kept stopping me. Like, what is in your hair? Like your hair is stunning. Um, and it was always this, <laughs> um, this never fails. So this is beautiful. It is very, very moisturizing. It's moisturizing on its own. I do like to pair it with its companion hair, hair milk though. I do have a video also coming with my top um, uh, moisturizing, like moisturizers, things like that, additions to add to your routine this time of year. So I have that coming as well. But this is just phenomenal. It's not for everybody. If you don't like fluffy wash and goes, you won't like this, um, but y'all know I have fine hair. I love me some fluff. If it's big and fluffy, I'm with it. <laughs> um, but this also allows you to achieve a lot of definition and shine along with your volume and fluff. So I'm here for it. I'm actually kind of matching the jar today. This wasn't intentional, but yeah. Pom uh, she sent it pomegranate pear, oil and gel hair pudding, bomb. And another one that I love to pull out this time of year. This one kind of like the Crow Origin one does work well in warm weather but I love the way this keeps my hair moisturized in the colder months. And this is the She Sent It Plum Nectar and Agave Curl Perfection Styling Custard for all hair types. Let me go ahead, I haven't, I haven't taken the plastic off. This is one of my backups. I finished off a whole one. God, I was kind of neglecting everything last year because this was in my routine like crazy. Um, and I had to put her down. So when I finished my first start, I just didn't open this. And I said I wanted to focus on using some other products. This has a very similar texture to the Curl Origin one, but the ingredients do differ. Let's see, this one does not have the pectin in it. Yeah. So this one also has xanthan gum, but it doesn't have the pectin in it. It also has agave nectar. Um, there's cockadoo plum, sunflower. There is some glycerin here in the middle of the ingredients as well. I believe in one of, 
I believe in my Curl Origin Honey and Hibiscus video, I compared ingredients. So those will be listed in the description. But let me show you guys what she looks like. Finally opening her up. Hmm. <sighs> I love the smell of this line, so good. So that's what she looks like. Um, and the slip on this again, 10 out of 10. It leaves the curls just incredibly shiny, incredibly defined. Um, this, I feel like, I feel like if you really like Curl Maker, but Curl Maker is too emollient for you, then I think this is a really, really great option. This just makes my hair feel so good, like so good. And this overtook my collection for a reason because, <laughs> The wash and go that I would get with this um, in combination with this and the leave-in is just, it's always out of this world. One of those products that I had to stop wearing on the days when I would go to work because people would stop, like I would think people were stopping to ask me about something in the store and they just wanted details on my hair. Like I wasn't getting work done because <laughs> I kept having to talk about my hair. Um, it's amazing. It's fabulous. It smells bomb. It makes your hair feel bomb. It leaves your hair just so balanced like the perfect balance especially for the winter time it's it's so nice so nice also get a couple of other usual suspects out of the way um i don't i don't have bbg in here okay bow buttery gel we just gonna call her bbg um i don't have her in here because she's gotten a lot of play in a lot of other videos these haven't so the first one even more so than bold buttery gel this one really is relegated to fall and winter on a good spring day i can use you know um my bold buttery gel and be fine but good sis tropical moringa she she gotta be cold for me <laughs> it has to be cold um but every time i have this in my hair i'm happy with it i think this is my last one and i'm so mad that they did not do a better deal for Black Friday. I know to some people like that deal might have been good, but if you shop, have been shopping the main choice, you know, sometimes we get like 65% off the first couple of hours of the sale. So buy one, get one free was not as good as the other deals. I'm just saying. Tropical Moringa Pearly Braid Out Glaze. This stuff is just everything for me. This is another one that leaves your hair super shiny. Something about the oils in this, this is very oil rich. Um, this has a uh, hydrogenated castor oil at the top. Um, there's also some aloe vera, beta carotene. You guys know main choice products are always packed with several different ingredients, um, to nourish and strengthen your hair. The texture on this, divine. There's something almost like when you work it into your hands, there's something almost creamy about it. And it lays my hair down beautifully, but I get such beautiful, fluffy, defined, smooth, soft results. Um, and it keeps my hair so moisturized in the fall and winter. This is another one that you can use by itself. You don't have to do a leave-in, but I actually like to do a leave-in in a lightweight cream. And it gives me, what do we call it? Deep wave, fresh out the pack. <laughs> So I love this. It's amazing. It's definitely a staple in my collection. It's a staple in a lot of other people's collections. And it is that way for a reason. So Tropical Moringa, she had to be in here. I can't believe I'm putting this in a video. Main Choice Ancient Egyptian. You guys know I started revisiting this this year and I actually really love it. <laughs> see, if, can, I, can I get it? Oh, can I get it open? I mean, who doesn't want to love something that is that pretty, you know? But outside of the texture, for some reason, for a while, like no matter what, like it just, it it felt good going on, but when my hair dried, it always looked a little funky. I don't know why, but I've been using this a lot lately and I have really been enjoying the wash and go. This comes in clutch and fall and winter. This is not as heavy as the Tropical Moringa. So for some people, this may not be enough, but for those of you who feel like Tropical Moringa is too heavy, this comes through. Um, this is another one that can be used on its own. I pair it with the leave-in, but it can be used on its own. It is very moisturizing, very softening. It adds beautiful shine to the hair. Um, so this is really, really nice. It's bomb. Definitely going to be a staple for fall and winter. Like I said, I can't believe that I have really been enjoying this, but I have. Like, I, I'm a convert. <laughs>
<laughs> I am definitely an ancient Egyptian lover now. But I will say maybe I just never gave it a full fair chance because whenever I would buy more ancient Egyptian stuff, my brother would take it before I really got a chance to like give it a full fair shot. So maybe it's just that I finally was able to give her her, you know, just desserts. Oh, right. And then the last two. Sprung coil boosting jelly. Love me some sprung coil boosting jelly. This is a really nice thick cream gel formulation. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like candy. I mean, it's it's a cream gel. This has a lot of really nice ingredients in it, including saw palmetto, horsetail, wheat germ. This has sodium carbomer in here, but I find that this does not dry, dry my hair out, even though there is carbomer in it. This makes my hair feel incredibly soft. I would say that the way that this performs is similar to the um, pomegranate pear oil and gel hair pudding. It gives you that like illustrious shine, that deep wave look. But when you scrunch it out, it's very, very soft, very shiny. I like to pair this with frizzways and I get a beautiful wash and go. If you like fluffy wash and goes, then you will love this. If you don't like fluffy wash and goes, then this is not going to be your jam, you know? But I feel like everybody should have like at least that one set of products that gives them that perfectly undone fluffy wash and go. Because you never know when you're going to need that perfect fluffy hair that you don't get until day five. Maybe, you know, you got an event and you want perfect fluffy hair now. And you can't wait five days for it. I feel like you should always have at least one product that's going to give you that. But this leaves my hair feeling so moisturized. Um, I don't... I mean, I feel like the ingredients are very, very simple, you know? <laughs> but there's just something about this formulation, something about this texture that makes my hair feel bomb. Um, I personally have not used this by itself. I always use it with Frizz Whiz, so I don't know how it does by itself. Um, but this helps to keep that moisture in my hair. It doesn't make my hair feel dry. It doesn't draw any of the water out of my hair. Actually, in fact, it kind of gives me that effect of like, locking everything in like when you apply it you feel like everything is locked and loaded when it's drying you don't have stuff dripping on you or anything like that um so this makes my hair feel very soft very moisturized very shiny and nice and voluminous I'm trying to keep it short and simple because i still have like this like grit in my in my throat so <laughs> i'm trying not to overdo it today with the foaming last but not least i have the unicurl Curl Fantasy Styling Gel. This is one of my favorite. Um, I wouldn't call it a strong hold. I would say this is like a medium hold gel. But it's one of my favorites for this type of consistency. It has a light scent. I love the way this goes on my hair. I tend to use this with the spray leave-in that she has. And it gives me so much shine. But like at, every time I put this in my hair, y'all are like, it's almost like Alexis made this for your hair because my hair looks so good every time I, I'm rocking this. This is another one that once I finished a jar, I had to kind of like put it down because I was like, I'm using this so much. I'm not using other things because my hair looks amazing with this. This gives me really, really nice definition. It's a perfect balance of definition that kind of chunky look that you get when you have like a, a gel this texture with volume. It's not too voluminous, but there is great volume in this. There's great shine. I get great softness. Now me personally, I wouldn't use this without a leave-in, but it does not, it doesn't leach any of the moisture out of my hair. Um, this is a very simple gel formula, but it does have olive oil. There is some glycer some glycerin in here. Um, there is carbomer and wheat protein. Um, but to me, this leaves my hair just feeling very soft and supple. Like I said, I feel like this is a medium hold. Um, it's not too strong, but it's not super soft either. I would say um, this is a step up from the Curly Bell one. If you remember the Curly Bell um, coconut styling gel that I used during affordables week. This is str a stronger hold than that one. So it just as a comparison sake, but I do have a video up on this as well. I love this gel. It's a beautiful, it's smooth. 
glides through the hair like butter. It treats my hair very well. Now I'm kind of wanting to use this too. I gotta decide which one I'm gonna use, but nevertheless, I love this. It's bomb. Definitely a great pickup. Like I said, um, during Black Friday, I'm not quite sure what's going on with their website, but just be kind. Um, I know Alexis is going through a big loss right now, so just be kind if you have any questions and if they don't get back to you, there's probably a reason why. I just hope that everyone is able to, you know, just everyone is okay. That's, that's all that I hope for is that everyone is okay. So yeah, that is it for this video. My top winter approved gels. I think that's what the name of this video is going to be because they moisturize and, and make your hair look good. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, I know that there are just some things that you guys, you know, really, really love. And I just need to embrace that a little bit more. Sometimes I think I get into my own head a little bit too much. And I think that's just what happens as someone who is a creative. Sometimes you get into your own head a little bit when in actuality y'all don't care that much like <laughs> and it's not a bad thing it's just it's really just not that deep you know what I mean so um I'm happy that you guys enjoy these videos and when it comes down to it I have to enjoy making them to some extent because I keep making them <laughs> so yeah I love you guys thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one bye